Hello and welcome to the episode 206 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, among other things, we'll cover an unsuccessful attempt to get more gigs, two TV appearances and a 12-hour long recording session. Let's start the episode with five concerts in two days. On the 25th of July 1961, the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums, had another double feature in Liverpool, both at the Coven Club. A lunchtime performance and an evening appearance topping a bill featuring the Blue Jeans, Jerry and the Pacemakers and the Remo Four. It was the third time the Beatles had a double feature at the Cavern, from the start of their career. In 1962, instead, the same lineup of the band was engaged three times in the same day. They opened with a lunchtime performance at the Cavern Club, then followed with an evening appearance, this time it was the 35th time they had such a double feature, and ended up their day of work moving to the Cabaret Club in town for a concert slash audition. Their manager Brian Epstein organized the event to see if the band could enter the cabaret circuit, but the show didn't go well. In fact, it failed miserably. Bob Woodward, co-manager of the club, noted that not only the audience response to the band was negligible, but that the lads played so loud that the windows were rattling. The Beatles received a payment of £15, about £320 in 2020 money, and the experiment was never attempted again. Another live date in 1963, this time with the band featuring Ringo Starr on drums. The Beatles played the fourth of six consecutive nights at the Audion Cinema in Western Supermare, in Somerset. On the 25th of July 1964, instead, George Harrison appeared on the panel of BBC One's Jukebox Jury, rehearsing from 4.30 to 5.40 pm and going live between 5.40 and 6.05 pm. As we explained in episode 173, the program offered quick reviews of recent singles by the guest panel. After a dinner break, it was Ringo Starr's turn to rehearse between 7.30 and 8.15 pm and film between 8.15 and 9.00 pm his own appearance for a show aired on the 1st of August at the usual time between 5.40 and 6.05 pm. Both shows were filmed at the Television Centre in London with host David Jacobs. George's panel included actress Alexandra Bastedo, comic actor Reg Varney and singer Carol Ann Ford. Ringo's panel included TV personality Katie Boyd, who had been on the panel with John Lennon on the 22nd of June 1963, actress Judy Cornwell and singer Ray Martin. In 1968, we find the Beatles busy working on While My Guitar Gently Weeps. Between 7 pm and 3.15 am at the EMI Studios, the band rehearsed the song and recorded several unnumbered outtakes, which George Harrison brought home to listen to. George also recorded one take of him singing the song alone, playing a folky pattern on an acoustic guitar. At the end of the take, someone, possibly Paul McCartney, overdubbed a harmonium part on the result. The take was released on the Anthology 3 album. And before closing with a 12-hour recording session, I want to thank you again for visiting www.simonmas.com support and for doing what you can to help me produce this and other music-related content. Even if you listen to this show years from its recording, drop me a line with your comments. It's always nice to hear your thoughts and your opinion might help me to improve, even way further down the line. On the 25th of July 1969, the Beatles were at work at the EMI Studios in Abbey Road between 2.30 pm and 2.30 am. Vocal, piano and organ overdubs were recorded for Sun King, Mean Mr. Mustard, and then Paul McCartney recorded vocal harmonies for Come Together. Later, Paul regretted doing so alone and not with John as they used to, but the past 18 months of continuous brickering had put a strain on their relationship. 
Paul was too embarrassed to ask and John was too proud to do the same. Anyhow, after the overdubs were out of the way, the band proceeded with the recording of two new songs, Politin Pam and She Came In Through The Bathroom Window, recorded again as one continuous piece. Both songs, one from John and the other from Paul, had been written in 1968 and were tried out without much success during the Get Back sessions. Politin Pam was a quick vignette about a girl with an obsession for the plastic material, which might refer to a couple of encounters in the very early days of the Beatles' career, we're talking 1960-1962. She came in through the bathroom window instead, narrated a more recent incident, in which a fan had broken into McCartney's home and stole something, possibly a picture in a nice 1930 frame. 39 takes of the rhythm track were recorded, before rounding the session and the piece up with bass, drums and lead vocal over dubs. This draws the curtain on today's episode, tomorrow we'll have some more Greek action. Or do you think I forgot about the commune story? Join me for more. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.